Well, here we are once again at the Super Target here in Oldsmar, Florida. I think the last time I was here, we were doing some spooky shopping. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think that's what we're gonna be doing today, Tampa well, J. What are we doing today? Oh, you'll see. Hello everyone, welcome. And welcome back. That's right. We are at the Super Target here in Oldsmar, Florida. Your old stomping grounds, old Tampa J. Neighborhood. Your old Love neighborhood. Me too. This is one of my most favorite targets of all time. It's the best one. Uh, we had a lot of good luck here with the spooky shopping. And um, unfortunately, though, today is November 1st. It's the day after Halloween. All Saints Day. Womp womp. <laughs> Halloween's never over. It's never over for us, but uh, commercially speaking and calendar speaking, it is technically over for another year. What? How sad. But you know what? The spooky shopping doesn't have to end. Um, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. The next big holiday, next uh, let's see, merchandise holiday, let's let's say that, um, is Christmas. Christmas is inevitably coming, it is inevitably here, and thus we are going to shift the shopping over to said holiday. That shall now be named as Christmas. It's funny because we you've been doing the spooky shopping network and for about almost two months of the four months you did it we've seen christmas about every episode sure have so it's already here sure have it's <laughs> it's been here for a while quite honestly if i really wanted to focus on christmas i'm already late i'm already behind and so thus we have to start on christmas now we love christmas <laughs> we really do it's my favorite <laughs> No, it's not my favorite, but honestly, it's my second favorite. Honestly, it's my second favorite too. I have nothing against Christmas. I, I Christmas. like Christmas. I really do. So I, I have no qualms about doing Christmas shopping. I really don't. Um, normally, if it was just me, I would not be starting on November 1st. You can believe that. I and I think we are the same in that we think about and start celebrating Christmas after Thanksgiving. We want Thanksgiving to have its time. Uh, Thanksgiving's so big in my family growing Same up. Same here. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, so. But there's not a lot of Thanksgiving merchandise out there. Not, there is not, no, sadly there is not. It goes and, right into Christmas. And as I just said, like, if we want to do the Christmas shopping, I have to start now. It has to start right now. In fact, I, I should have started like a couple weeks ago, really, if I wanted to, like, really show you all of the things but in any case november 1st here we are christmas shopping we're gonna start off in target we're gonna head on inside there and i'm gonna show you all of the christmas things that we can find and um if there's anything that we have learned about the spooky shopping it's that if you see something you like you better grab it now because better it's probably it not going to be there the next time you go so just keep that in mind as we're going through here uh for your own targets so without further ado with that whole setup at the beginning here let's get on in there merry christmas everybody merry christmas this is for everyone who loves christmas there you go so okay let's Go. I like the summer. Ho, ho, ho. Before we get much further, I did get a drink from the good old Starbucks inside of here. And this video's coffee is thanks to John and Melinda. Really appreciate you both. Thank you for supporting the channel. Cheers, hope you enjoy this one. We're gonna start off in the Bullseye Playground, AKA the dollar section of Target. It's not really the dollar section anymore, but I'm, I'm old school as far as Target goes. I still consider it the dollar section. In any case, they have switched out the Halloween with a wreath here for the good old Bullseye Target mascot. And of course, they switched out the Christmas. merch as well it's uh it's christmas very merry over here yeah very merry i i like the colors on that sign as well they also have a fa la la here those are three dollars they got some candles. candles these uh these are pretty cute crackers snowmen they're like wooden like little gnomes gnomes yeah or over elves i'm not too. sure they look like gnomes those are pretty cute got some houses that you can uh maybe do like a little christmas display with some more candles 
dish towels. We got some pillows down here too. I like the black with the snowflake on there. We got some more festive homes over here too. Yeah, what you got there too? Collectible you? bottles. One reads, you have been nice. It looks like presents in there and then you have Santa's list. And on the other side, you have uh -oh. coal for the naughty kids. The coal, the dreaded coal. Those are pretty cute. I don't know what you would do with them. Maybe just stick them in like stockings? Uh, I know you could stoke a fire with coal. There you go. I wonder if the <laughs> oh, that's whole, not what you the meant, whole thing may be flammable. I don't know. <laughs> and we got a heck of a lot of snowmen over here as well. Looks like a bag of snowmen, a bag of gnomes, and then we got bigger gnomes and bigger snowmen down here too. But I really like these like deer. Yeah, plushy deer. I like the color. They're Reindeer. like a forest green and they're they're really like soft and plushy. Oh, that's adorable. Happy holidays. That's that that's there's Bella on there for sure. Also. Meowy. Meowy Christmas. Meowy Christmas. Unfortunately, we don't collect Christmas mugs on this channel, so back you go from whence you came. These got sent to the wrong target. What you is that? You know what these are? No, I don't. These are snowball makers. Are you telling me we can't get snow here in Florida and those are not even relevant? No sand snow. balls? No, you know. You yeah, could you do, can do it you sand. could yeah, you could bring it to the beach. It might not stick as Good stuff. Yeah, may not. There's some other bits and pieces over here as well that you could use to like decorate your mantle or what have you. And some plates here as well. Looks like a Christmas tree and then also uh, like a Christmas light bulb. And we got some Shanna cookie jars over here. Those oh, are pretty oh, cute. Oh, I like them. Oh, you got a Charlie Brown Christmas tree exactly, there. Exactly, for my work desk. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I might get it. Yeah, you should. But I'm not putting it on my desk until Thanksgiving. Until after Thanksgiving, that's yep. Let's Personal. grab a basket. Yeah. I have to say, this is actually pretty darn adorable. I like this little box here. It's like a little shelf that you can hang up on the wall, but it's in the shape of a little present. Okay, that's... That's pretty cute. I do I do like that. And these are pretty cool too. These uh little Christmas tree shelves. You could either just stick in like the corner or you can make into one big Christmas tree just like that. Me personally, I'm always looking for shelves. We got a lot of knickknacks in our family. So those are always very, very helpful. Oh, that's really cute. Terracotta pot bells. Ornaments. So they have yeah. tiny little terracotta pots that you can decorate and make into ornaments. Three dollars. Oh darn you, Target! You're 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 actually getting. I didn't think we'd actually be buying Christmas things oh, today, yeah, what's going on with us? but here we are. On this end cap here, looks like we got some blankies, some pillows, a Christmas countdown thing here, which is pretty darn adorable. Got some nutcrackers over here as well, and some tiny ornaments, which are always very helpful, well, especially the small tree. exactly yeah. If you buy the small trees for the desk and whatnot, those are always a great option. And there's some like ceramic trees on this end cap here as well in varying sizes. And these are uh, like fuzzy, like velvety, and these are really small on the smaller side and they have these ones here as well again like good for like a mantle piece or a desk or something like that those are kind of neat they're a little bit more like abstract okay and this is where tampa j found his tree from look at all the trees they got a they got their own little tree farm back here that's actually a a decent sized tree there you know if you were like um I don't know, on your own, or again, not a huge fan of Christmas, you could get like a tiny little tree here, set it up in your apartment or whatever. Um, these are always really cool too. I like the color of the green ones there. It's more like a lime green tree. And then they got these tiny little trees in here. With tr truly, in, like all of the trees you could ever want. Remember Chris. Yes. It's not the size of the Christmas tree. It's how you decorate it. 
These are pretty cool as well. I just noticed these, but they're like little, like crates, like little boxes here that you could display stuff in. Stuff, you could put your yeah, stuff Yeah, you know, in your stuff. The stuff, the things, you know, the things, but they're, they're really cute. Little cubbies. I like them, yeah. Little set of three packages are pretty darn adorable, I have to say. I think these would kind of just be like a little decoration, but they have like little snowballs, fresh cut trees, and then sleigh bells. I don't know, it's it's kind of cute. It's 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 fanciful. By the way, they have a bunch of arts and craft kits over here as well. Not just the terracotta pots, which I'm noticing quite a few of them are broken, so be careful when you're looking at that. But uh, they got like uh, nutcracker kits down here. There's like a mini garland kit over here as well, a snow globe, lots of really cool like activities for for the kiddos and the, the kiddos at heart as well. Feliz Navidad everybody. Of course, you gotta get your matching PJs for the entire family and trust me, Target has got you covered. Every kind of flannel you could ever want. Al Borland would be in heaven right now. There you go. How many flannel pajamas do you want, Tampa J? All of them. All of them? All righty. Sounds good. Well, we got some shirts over here as well. Joyful. It's all very merry. I don't know, shirt, is it? Is it all very merry? Is it? Anyway. Uh, we got some. Yeah, it's true. If it's on a shirt, it's true. Very good point. We got some Mickey and Friends shirts and sweatshirt bottoms here these are adorable actually these are really cute they got a grinch set over here as well again a sweatshirt and the and the bottoms oh goodness and they have some rudolph stuff here too look at bumble there do they have a size big enough for Tampa J? I think this will fit my left thigh. There you go. And we got Charlie Brown over here as well. I, I gotta admit, I kind of like that you can buy like a matching sweat set. They got the top yeah, for you, and they got the matching bottoms. Or you could mix and match if you wanted. If you want to mix IPs over here. Yeah. Oh, these are cute. Go through those reindeer. Yeah. There's always tomorrow. Tons more pajamas over here too. Seriously? So many pajamas, like so many pajamas. I mean, it makes sense like Christmas, you know, morning. Y'all wanna be in your, your matching Christmas pajamas and whatnot. Oh, they got pet pajamas as well. Maybe Maybe Bella needs some pet pajamas. Oh, these are really cute. I like this one. It has a, a bear and a fox. Looks like they're camping. Oh, that is adorable. Over in the women's clothes section, they have a Grinch sweatshirt here. Or that the Grinchmas. That's very true. I think this is also a Grinch or like a Whoville sweatshirt over here too. And oddly enough, a Christmas Def, Def Leppard sweatshirt. That's something you don't see every you, day. You sure don't. Not to be outdone by Def Leppard, the Rolling Stones has got in on the Christmas game as well. Or at least Target has demanded that they do so. Which band do you like better? Because here we are. Um, neither. I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of either, honestly. Or maybe I would consider no, it, Leopard, but, but I yeah. Think this is Rolling Stones. Yeah, good choice. So that is a cool, I like that. Tis the Seasons got kind of like an old school Mickey on there. I, yeah. I like it. There's a, a Snoopy one over here too. Says Merry and Bright. And we got some shirts. Coca-Cola Santa shirt. Up here as well. Got a Santa, a Grinch. Yeah, and a Coca-Cola Santa. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh and uh baby odor over here with his shanna hat and here is a christmas sweater for the kiddos it's rex that is pretty darn cute merry rexmas and it's got all the characters stitched in there that is adorable if they made it for adults i would buy it not gonna lie okay moving right along out of the clothes here we are uh hearth and hand with magnolia magnolia um 
Who's this couple? I forget what the heck their names are, but they were like really famous on the uh, home HGTV. Uh, yeah. But they have like their own. It, sorry. They have like their own line of stuff here at Target, and of course they are getting into the Christmas game. We got a lot of candles here, which Christmas candles are like some of my favorites. They always smell so good. Mmm. Smells like I'm celebrating way too early. <sighs> smells like old man Peabody's. Mmm. Twin pines. Woo. This is really cute. They have a snowman kit here. Build a snowman thing. Again, they are targeting, Target is targeting towards the wrong targets here in Florida, but uh, looks like it comes with, I don't know, oh, oh a bunch, it's a snowman kit. So it's got like its little top hat, little corn cob pipe. Oh, that's cool. Button nose. You can make a sand man. All the stuffs. Yeah, that's true. I see people make sand. Yeah. Uh, on the beach. We could sand. do that, yeah. And we got some more Christmas florals over here as well. All of the stuff that you can put like on top of your your hearth or whatever it may be. They've got some wreaths in here as well. Lots more candles and uh, little trees too. They're very, very cute. I like it. What you got there, Tampa J? Oh, goodness. Over here, Chris the girl. <laughs> and they have a letters to Santa kit here too. Some nice fancy paper on there. It looks like there's a stamp. Oh, you got the special um, stamps that one could use to mail said letters over to Santa. That's pretty cool. Chip and Joanna uh, Gaines, that's it. Go. That's the one, that's them. And doormats, some very lovely pillows. Always like the knit. Uh, look to those. Oh, yeah. We got some stocking holders over here too. Cute little wooden trucks and figurines and whatnot. Yeah, we may need some stocking yeah. holders. Those are always very well, helpful. You said if we don't get it now, it's gone. Exactly. And stockings. Some Christmas bakeware sort of stuff over here too. These plates and like tray sets. These appear to be made out of uh, like a plastic material and they got some spatulas over here too and some napkins. A doormat down there which I, I really like, very simple. We've got some nice knitted blankets and some more Christmas foliage in here and uh, looks like another like stocking holder sort of thing. I like that it says Merry Christmas on there. Wow, that's that is heavy. That is substantial. And we got some some deer up here as well. Oh yeah, and some wreaths. Or doormats over here as well. Lots of really good options. I like the the snowflake one. That's really cool. And also some more pillows here as well. They're really cute. I like them, especially the star one and the, the tree one up there. All right, and Merry Christmas, everybody. Whoa. It is Christmas. Display. I think I took this exact same shot when I was here doing the spooky shopping, but it was all fall and Halloween, and now it's been replaced with red, green, white, and gold. So here we are, folks. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You filthy animal. Trees, trees, and more trees. All kinds of different trees different that you tree. could possibly want from they're all like kind of cone shaped. I mean, I guess that's the shape of a tree, right? But uh, I like this one. Kind of reminds me of like a theme park tree. Okay, more pillows over here as well. Like all of the Christmas pillows that you could possibly want. I have to say, I really like a lot of these. Um, now I will go all in on a spooky pillow, but I, I don't know if I'm convinced enough to buy a spooky, or a spooky, hello, a Christmas pillow. But um, I do like this one, actually. I think this might be my favorite so far. I like Mr. and Mrs. Claus here skiing away. It's very vintage-y looking. Oh, I really, really, actually really, really like this. Cool calendar. Put it right on the door. So one of my favorite things from when I was a kid doing uh, Christmas, doing the Christmas, was the advent calendars. And we had one very similar to this, except ours was 
handmade by my grandma. If I'm not mistaken, my mom's probably yelling at the screen right now, but I think she made it. <laughs> and it was like my brother and I had to take turns moving the little, it was actually a, a baby Jesus. It was a nativity scene. We, we took turns moving the baby Jesus every every day of of December because it was like our favorite thing to do and this this kind of given me that those vibes I like the chocolate ones eat a chocolate every day I bet I bet yeah <laughs> do you have a stocking Tampa J I do have a stocking okay I've had a stocking uh geez since probably I was born the same stocking okay yeah same here it's not with me though it's a, with my mom oh uh, gotcha yeah okay yeah, I have I have my stocking as well. Okay, so we won't be shopping for stockings. Does Bella have a stocking? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I got her one last year. Yeah. <laughs> a couple years ago. All right. Well, maybe we'll keep our eyes out for for her. Got more stocking holders over here too. This is another really cute option. And yes, folks, listen. If Christmas pillows are your thing, you Target's got you. It's got you covered. It's got you covered. In fact, the Christmas pillows will be covering every single inch of your house is how many uh, pillows they have here, it seems. Holy moly. Okay, what you got there, Tim? It's a Christmas counter. Check oh, it out. Oh, another it's advent a house, calendar. Though. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. It's only one left, 35 bucks. And you can put chocolate in there. There you, you go, or yeah. Or you can put whatever you want. For, you know, it's for uh -huh. the kids. Yeah, Give like little whatever toy. little little trinkets you want in there. Ooh, now that would be a lot of fun. $35, that's not bad, too. This is an interesting little advent calendar over here, too. It's very horizontal. And oh, I guess I like you that. move the star <laughs> along yeah. like that. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So oh, we're going backwards in time. No. We're, we're not even close to this yet. <laughs> Another kind of advent calendar too. It says it's a countdown garland. So it has like all the little stockings here for each day in December. And I guess you could fill them with, again, like little treats, snacks or whatever for the kiddos or for the kiddos at heart. And uh, that, that'd be a fun one too. That's that's adorable, that's $25. Here's some examples of how your living room could look with all of these pillows and blankies and and whatnot. If we had furniture, we could make it look like this. If we had furniture, yeah, we, we could, could do. We should actually get furniture. We pro, you know, we'll probably should. This is kind of a cute, fun, different kind of wreath here full of uh, little sleigh bells and, and poof balls. Looks like the unsilence of the lambs. <laughs> Shake it. <laughs> See, they're not silent. <laughs> Good one. Some more pillows and fuzzy blankies over here too. They've got some Ottomans as mm -hmm. well. And uh, yeah, more, more and more and more pillows. Not to dog the pillow. I'm trying not to dog the pillows. It's not that I don't like them. They're very beautiful. I, I really like them. It's just, oh my god, this is a lot of pillows. It's a lot of pillows. Can you ever have enough though? Spooky pillows? No. No. Yeah. Christmas pillows? I don't know. I do really like these also. They're also kind of like a little bit more abstract and not necessarily in your face Christmas. I like the colors specifically. It's like a shiny rose gold gold gray cream sort of thing going on in there it's it's very sof sophisticated it's a sophisticated do wacky more sophisticated items over here too this like gold plated stuffs like they got a garland over here some candlestick holders and uh this huge candle wreath sort of thing here and then an actual wreath and then just kind of like a little thing that you can just put like i guess on your table i don't know i don't own fancy things i'm just guessing and we've got nutcrackers as well did you ever have a nutcracker tampa j oh yes i've cracked a few nuts before i bet you have yep i like the tinsel trees too they're really cool usually um in the past when it was just me in just like a tiny apartment and I didn't feel like doing a whole shebang of Christmas, I would get a tinsel tree like this from Target 
Um, we should see them back there, hopefully, in the seasonal section. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, this year we got to get an actual tree, though. You want an actual, oh, like... Like a big, like a big tree. A real tree. Yeah. Pretty much all the way down this hallway, by the way, Christmas on every end cap. So, here we go. More Christmas blankies. Over here, $15. I gotta admit, I really like that one. Oh, and hey, look at this Christmas pillows. That's new. Big ol' jingle bells there. Got some garland, more foliage, and tiny little wreaths. These are nice, I like those. More nutcrackers. These ones the are coats. really fun. I like the... I like that monster there. Yeah, like the abominable snowman. And yeah, snow globes as well. They all say 2022 on them. Does Target do like they do, uh, snow yeah. globes they every year? I'm guessing they all have like different things inside of them as well. So that's that's fun. We've got some Christmas themed uh, sheets over here too. I gotta I gotta admit I like I like those yeah, with the little makes, like skiers and and skaters. It's pretty adorable. Bed. That one's really nice too, with the trees, and then like a flannel print over there. More Christmas blankies here too. These are only $10. Christmas bathroom too. These are all bath rugs that you can put out various different kinds. They've got some hand soap options, shower curtains. Oh, they have the ski print in a shower curtain, that's adorable. And then yeah, a bunch of bunch of different kinds of hand towels as well. Oh, they have the ski print in a hand towel. Hmm, okay. Okay, kind of more fun bath mats over here. We've got some gingerbread men and we have some hand soaps, different kinds of hand soaps. It's like a pug. Yeah, I like the pug, that's adorable. And uh, other kinds of hand towels here as well. And I saw these the last time I was at Target and I have to admit they're pretty adorable. Although some people may think they're kind of gross and we're I don't not, blame you. We're not covering our shark. Yeah, we're not covering the shark. The bloody shark is still on our toilet. If you know, you know, otherwise that sounds really weird. But in any case, uh, they have these. Much behind, no point, no uh, pun intended. Much yeah. Behind. So, um, but they have these, oh my gosh, I'm just now realizing what this is. Okay, so you have the, sand, no, but look at it. You have the toilet seat cover, it's Santa's head, <laughs> but then the bottom that goes around the toilet is his body. Santa is the toilet. So you put Are you the realizing feet that? on the body and the bum on the face. Oh, what in the... Theoretically. I kind of want to buy it just because it's weird. That would be a great gift for someone. Who can we give yeah. that to? Yeah. Who couldn't we give that to? Oh. It's good for everyone. Let's get it for Sploren Ryan. Yeah, he likes Christmas. His birthday was just the other day. Yeah. Sploren Ryan, the man who saved our lives. I had a feeling I made the right decision by coming here to Oldsmar. They have out quite a lot of Christmas. Quite a lot of it. So there's going to be a lot to unpack here. I'm gonna try to show you as much as I can. They're definitely still putting stuff out, but there is a lot, a lot here. Oh boy, Merry Christmas, everyone. It's hard to even know where to start, but I think we're gonna start smack in the middle with the Christmas trees. So there's, there's quite a few different Christmas trees here to choose from, and apologies if I can't find exact sizes or uh, prices, because again, they're still putting oh, stuff out. Yeah. But uh, they have plenty of boxes here for stuff. So, there you go. So there's all these trees. I don't, I don't even know what to say. There's trees. There's <laughs> Christmas trees. trees. I there you go. The Jay and, Chris <laughs> and then they have trees over on this side too. They've got the really long, skinny kinds. Here, some of them have the, you know, the artificial, tree. yeah, the, the frosted tree. There, that's the or, technical term, yeah. I think so. I don't know. And they have that's what mom called it. this big one here. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, and they have a tiny one as well. Okay, so I can't like really match up these trees with the prices and the boxes. Like I'm trying to do it, but a lot of these are not marked. The boxes underneath them are don't look necessarily like what's 
above them, so I can't give much information except to show you the trees and show you the boxes underneath. So feel free to pause at any point so you can read the screens or look at the trees. This is what they have though. So I'm seeing various prices from like $100, like this one here is $100, seven and a half foot unlit tree. An Alberta spruce. That's a fine tree, if I do say so myself. Oh, Alberta spruce. Yeah, good old Alberta spruce. Um, and then I've seen them go up to like, you know, $300 and above. So I'm sure like this frosted boy here is probably pretty expensive. But uh, yeah, good selection, good selection of trees. Here's the tiny little tinsel trees that I would always oh, yeah, buy when I was living on my own. One year I had a, a pink tinsel tree, and another year I had, I think, a white one at one point. They're good for desks. Um, all kinds of stuff and they're only ten dollars too so not too bad there's a lot of little the ornaments the tree the tinier and cuter the ornament i do really like dinosaurs. those dinosaur ornaments those are adorable also they yeah i was going right there we have the fast food set <laughs> that's really cute too oh, i like that this is kind of like more of a i don't know i guess girly maybe kind of set here little cupcakes Little unicorns. Space oh, set. that is adorable. These are really cute ornaments. And I like them. They're only $10. And there's a bunch of ornaments over here on this side too. Now me personally, I don't really go for these kinds of ornaments. Um, mostly because I have a bunch of ornaments at home that are like either homemade ones or just ones that I've grown up with or whatever it may be. So I've never been one to have a tree that was just like all one color, all like a certain kind of ornament or whatever. They're very beautiful, but it's just never been something that I've, I've ever done. But they have a lot of options here if that's your jam. If you just want kind of some basic ornaments here or just some filler ornaments, they got a lot of options. Flamingo! Oh, that's awesome. Is this a hat? Yeah. Oh, just like at Party City the other day, or Halloween Hall City. At uh, Spirit Halloween. I like this one. It's got a little, uh, little gold sparkly thing on it. Yeah. Best thing we've seen all day. Yep, easily. I like it. I like the little legs. See, the one at, at um, Spirit Halloween didn't have- Oh, it's a chin strap. Little legs. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's hilarious? What do you mean it's hilarious? Awesome. I, mean, I love it. You need it. And they definitely have you covered in the stocking department as well. Lots of different kinds of stockings. They're all really, really pretty. Out of them all, I like oh. this one the best. It's just kind of fanciful and whimsical. That's kind of more my jam as far as Christmas goes. I like like the woodland creatures and I don't know the pale colors. Like that's kind of my thing as you'll see throughout the season that's a really cool batman stocking too why and of course you got to get the stocking holders for all of those stockings wow. too and they have a lot of different kinds Peace. yeah you could do and it's not those don't all come together by the way these are oh wait no they oh, they're, do they're together they do they are all together my apologies you could get peace they got these uh little houses They've got these ones here, which I think might be my favorites that I've seen so far. Say, and maybe thing. of all time, honestly. Like those are too. good. Classic. Those are only $25. I can't believe we are buying Christmas things today. Like, this is insane. Insane. Um, but if the fancy ones aren't your jam, they do have these basic ones here too, which I've definitely used throughout the years myself. Those are always a good option, but they, they have a lot of really fun ones. Here, this is kind of funny. Got a little like flippy stuff. <laughs> I didn't expect to see, I tried on the other side. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty funny. Oh yeah, and I wanna point out that they have little mini stockings here too, which I know I have needed over the years. Um, like when I worked in an office, I would uh, get mini stockings for all of my coworkers and fill them with candies and, and whatnot. So they have a bunch of them here at Target, which is good. Holy ornaments, Batman. There's some good ones in here. Yeah, okay. 
think of something, it's probably a, yeah, truly. This is what's always your, like your favorites. Very in oh, a very over cheese it. This is a very overwhelming section, but also like amazing. Yeah, like the cheese it. Oh my gosh, spam. Down here, they've got a, a mac and cheese, a spam. <laughs> Babe, they got a ranch. Oh, there you go. You gotta get a ranch. A ranch ornament. I love ranch. That's amazing. Got Mountain Dew. Yeah, Mountain Dew. They got a Diet Coca Coke. They got a six pack. Oh, of Santa Coke, Coke. back Ross. there, yeah, Bob Ross. We got a Gremlins. Oh, it's Ralphie in the Pink Nightmare. Oh, that's adorable. This reminds me of an ornament that I got my parents one year. My parents live full time in an RV, so they are traveling all over the place all the time. So this is like a little state, uh, oh, sorry, a map of the country and you can move the little heart oh, the on a cool. magnet. To, to wherever you are, to wherever you live. So this would be this would be a pretty good one for them. That's disgusting. I don't think I would buy this for your annual you Christmas ornament please gift. Please don't. Bacon. Just get me the stick of butter. The stick of butter? Or the, yeah, let's How just, about the coffee? just do that. Oh yeah. Buy me a coffee. This video's coffee is thanks to... Ah yes, and the ever important tape. Oh boy, it's wrapping season again. It's wrapping season again. Okay, there's a lot of ornaments, so we're gonna get back to the ornaments a little bit later, but uh, we're gonna check out some of the decos that they have here. Here's obviously, again, they're still putting stuff out here, but uh, they have some signs over here that are adorable. Sorry. Of Santa's workshop. We are predicting over 100 inches of snow, and we are currently showing level 5 hot cocoa and marshmallows alert. Please be sure your kitchen is well stocked with marshmallows. We what? saw so many spooky radios. That's right. During the Christmas. Halloween season, and none of them worked. None of them. None worked. Of them. But we the tried Christmas all of them, and none of them worked. But the Christmas one has to work. What's that mean? I can see inside that the elves are busy putting the finishing touches on all of the toys for the good girls and boys. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty darn adorable. I like the Santas and the Mrs. Claus. They are so darn cute. Oh, they're very plushy as well. $15 for each of them. Got an official notice for the Nor North Pole sign here. This year we've been either amazing or nice. That's kind of cute. And yeah, they got a bunch of stuff over here as well. So we got a light up Mary sign, a, oh, a Santa sack. That's pretty cute. Oh, yeah. And a wireless tree lighting switch. Oh, that is adorable. Look how fun that is. That would be great for the kiddos. I would have loved this. Oh yeah. As a kid. All right, it's time to light the tree, kid. Yeah. Pull, Hit pull the, the lever. And pull a Griswold. And we got uh, some fun garland up here. Two little poofy balls and some sparkly deer. Santa stop here signs. Oh, I love the little climbing Santa on the ladder that you can put up on the on the tree. Those are always super, super cute. Um, oh, and we got uh, Santa in a sack. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm not gonna lie, that's actually really cute. You like it? We heard the music like bucks. earlier, and I was like, oh no, I don't want to hear Christmas music. But seeing him shimmy shake like that is actually really cute. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. That's really cute. Oh, they play different songs. Look at him shimmy. Look at him shake. Shanna's got the moves. I like them. It's really cute. I don't know why. This is like amusing me way too much. Oh, look at him go. Shake it, Santa. Shake it. Christmas robot. Christmas robot. I love the robot sound. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's really cute. He's still going. He's like singing it in his robot voice. Oh yeah. my gosh. Are is Target really getting me with their cute little plushies? What is this? What is this life right now? Santa may deliver presents, but it's you, your hopes, and your dreams that really brings Christmas to life. 
Oh, goodness. Is it Santa? Is it really? Magic is in the air, and everyone feels the warm glow of the holidays. It's Christmas time, the best time of the year. That's a little bit too sugary sweet for me, but it is very cute. Very Leaf. cute. I'd be happier if Leaf. he said, like, I'm going to take a dump down your chimney like the Santa at Bush Gardens did. <laughs> 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 Christmas is coming. It's already here. To town, whether you like it or not, because it's here. I'm driving a red sports car. In the snow, <laughs> which is very dangerous. Don't anyway, yeah, they got some snow globes here. Little ones and gigantic ones. Oh, that's cute. The little Santa is... Oh, wow. Going around the Christmas tree there. There are little birds here as well, which are adorable. I used to collect these, not anymore, but uh, I love the little little reindeer. That is super, super cute. And they have some ballerinas here too. These are cute. Oh, that's nice. Of course it's the, I should have known that was gonna play the Nutcracker. And of course you got your non-spooky ceramic trees as well. I think I have a ceramic tree that I got from Target last year. It's pink, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm not going to get one. Plus, I have my spooky ceramic tree, but these are really nice. Very old school. And we got some nutcrackers over here, too. Ouch. We got a big, huge countdown calendar. That's very cute. There's the penguin uh, driving the truck as well. Looks like you could put the presents on him. Really cute little house um thing that you can hang up I've got some garland and uh, another wall deco yet more deer and uh some lighting stuff oh, lanterns etc and speaking of lighting all of the christmas lights you could possibly could possibly need get your griswold on yeah pretty pretty much every single kind from the huge big wheels of lights to uh, the boxes of lights, the multicolored lights, the white lights, the stuff that you put on the bushes, the fancy lights that change colors. Oh, they've got the um, uh, projection things that you could put on your house. You got the, the hanging lights there too. Of course, they have all of the displays of the different kinds of lights as well. These are like um, like little fairy lights is what I call them, but they have stuff hanging on them. So they've oh, got holly like leaves. holly leaves here. We've got some pine trees, leaves, oh, I don't know. I like the pine cone idea. Yeah, the pine cones are really cool. That's a good, good kind of fun option. Stars over there. And we have big stuff that you can hang up as well. They've got a star, they've got a snowflake, they have these little hang-up stars here, these like little star bursts. Those are fun and pretty. And uh, more pine cones. I like the pine cones. Here's some more demonstrations of what we're looking at. So those little fairy lights that I just showed. There you are. I like, I actually like the the multicolored puff balls. That's pretty, that's pretty cute. And some stuff for the outside to these little spiral Christmas trees. This lighted up twig tree here. Like the branchy, the branchy tree. Oh, here. It's right here, outside of the box. Like so it. there you go, they have that there too. Just a couple of like fun little boxes that you can use to uh, have presents in. We've got some bags here as well. So I haven't seen any wrapping paper, but we haven't made it through everything yet oh, if you can believe it it's coming. i'm sure it's coming but uh here's some ribbons over here too and uh some gift tags okie dokie more trees over here these are kind of like medium sized fancy trees more yeah probably more for the outdoors if i would yeah. have to guess they're putting out the garlands over here as well We've got some wreaths, more pine cones, and more uh, decorated wreaths. Huge, gigantic lanterns, and some scents, some Christmas scents 
over here more ribbons and just kind of random stuff I think to decorate like wreaths with again still putting some stuff out but uh, they got the wreath holders and of course the ever important big old bows okay it just keeps going and going and going so uh, just gonna kind of do a pan here of some of the stuff and I'll point out what uh, sticks out to me I like these little birds those are super cute got more houses over here some Shanna boots that look suspiciously like those mummy boots that we kept seeing during the spooky season but that's okay we've got some this metal tree here you could put candles on we've got some mistletoe and more deer more trees you can make a whole little uh setup on your mantle or whatever it may be this is nice this little banner here says peace it's like a knitted banner a sign here that says how many sleeps until christmas more trees a nativity scene here more birds and uh, all of this stuff here that's yeah, kind of like gold oh i like this that's very yeah, i like, I like the too. the color of it very fancy very uh sophisticated here are some really fun uh things for the outside or the inside of the home these are always super adorable the little tinsel creatures that they have there's your kitty cat there's the corgi oh so cute <laughs> little penguin that's uh fishing got a cool uh snowman, snowman. He's taking a selfie he is yeah he's or, he's legitimately really cool and then probably our favorite one of all this dinosaur like up here he is super darn cute i think he's 50 dollars. i don't see you know a what? box see for a him box. which makes me think either he's not out yet or he is popular yeah and i have a feeling he's going to be very popular because i haven't seen that particular dino before and uh it's cute super cute one, yeah. also that cute little puppo to the left of him that's super cute Belt and then the time. the candy cane more stuff for the outside rat and cone trees little trees, trees. those trees yeah. over there which looks like could impale someone <laughs> uh they have a, a little cabin set up here which is really cute cabin set. that's a hundred dollars they've got the deer of course oh there there's the tree yeah those look sharp i don't know those look really sharp they got a snowman they got an angel, got a set of holiday icons, and uh, some gumdrops. Those oh, are gum super drops. cute. Also have some pathway lights. These little candy canes are really cute, really classic. Got some peppermints, too. A bunch of other kinds of pathway lights. These are really, really pretty as well. And then some blow-ups. Of course, you got the... Christmas Vacation, Nightmare Before Christmas. You got an elf up there. All kinds of different options with the Christmas inflatables. Okay, as you can imagine, lots and lots and lots of ornaments, as I kind of was saying before. So just sort of doing like a little pan here for you. Also, little rolls of tinsel, which is again great for those tiny trees. It's just a big old poof ball. I don't know what I was expecting. Well, they got their little birds in an ornament. They've got kind of weird, uh, accurate, fuzzy animals, some nutcrackers, these cute little Christmas sweaters. Got some shiny uh, fruits over here. Those are kind of neat. And uh, like little pillows, some trucks, more deer and oh these are bugs bugs eaten alive oh, these like are those. really pretty yeah actually that's really pretty i like the moth some more garland and other kinds of options for the little trees too those are really pretty these are kind of more of like the gold and silver ornaments got some some zoo animals over here oh some a shiny triceratops some bells and the RVs, they get me every time with the RVs. Oh, I like the squid. squid. 
I like the gator. That's really cute. Yeah, you got a gator one there as well. Absolutely adorable. Yeah, a little kiwi with a little face on it. Got some cacti over in here. Little ice cream cone tree. Some cute like little angels in here as well. Some penguins and uh, these little ornaments down here. Just very, very whimsical. Kind of bohemian. This is definitely, this is definitely more my jam. Definitely very colorful, very fun. I like the snails. Those are super cute. Oh, hot, little hot, hot dog, dog cart. That's so cute. Yeah. Some mermaids. Oh. A sailor seagull. <laughs> That's funny. That's adorable. I really didn't think that I would be buying Christmas things there today, but uh, we have a whole basket, so <laughs> that means there's going to be a Christmas haul segment at the end of this. Maybe. I don't know. This is already going to be a really long video, so we'll see. But in any case, I got some fuzzy alpacas and uh, yeah, a bunch of other really cute, really cute stuffs. Again, just kind of going to do a little pan for you all. It's getting a little crazy with the ornaments in the Christmas in general. There's a lot to show. Needless to say, we are only doing Target in this one video. We'll do other stores and other videos, but because there's so many like little items, little pieces, it's uh, harder to do multiple videos with Christmas, I feel. Mostly because of this right here, the ornaments, and uh, eventually the wrapping paper too. They don't have wrapping paper out quite yet. Big tree skirts over here. I really like this one actually. Again, kind of seems like a bit more bohemian, sort of. I don't know. That's kind of more, more my jam. But they have a bunch of different kinds. They got the tree toppers down here as well, as well as Whoa. above it too. So a lot of tree toppers. Yes, Tim J. A star tree topper or an angel tree topper? We had a Mickey tree topper. Oh. He was dressed as Santa well, and he had better. little candles and he would move his arms. Like but that. we did have an angel for a little while too. You had an angel? You had an angel? I'm nice. more of a star guy. Yeah, I know me. I like the stars. The, the stars star. are pretty cool. Yeah. Tree skirts aren't your thing. They got tree collars as well. I honestly didn't know that that's what that was called. Tree but there you go. You could do a, a tree collar. There's some animal related Christmas items here too. Of course, the ever important pillows. We've got a little jar here for the treats. And look at all the doggos. You got every kind of doggo and, and kitty cat that you could want. I think this one looks like the Billa. The poodle is hilarious though. That's probably my favorite, to be quite honest. On this aisle here, we have candy. Lots and lots of Christmas candy. Yep, stocking stuffers. The uh, ever important Reese's trees, candy canes, the fun fetti. We've got some cupcake holders, cookie cutters, all the sprinkles, and uh, fun little uh, Tupperware sets as well. Little gingerbread molds. Oh, we got some tablecloths as well and bags to put all of the treats inside of two the more treat tins and just general items to put all of those baked goods in also paper plates and napkins and silverware the really cool uh little party crackers over here too lots of really good options for those for those christmas parties yep candy candy and more candy go ahead and grab that stocking stuff for candy while it's still while it's still here they got a lot of different kinds of options we made our way back up towards the front of the store and there's still yet more christmas items here too so we got some sprinkles we got some oven mitts a bunch of bunch of different kinds of oven mitts they are adorable I think this Christmas tree might be a, a cookie, cookie jar. jar and they've got all kinds of adorable little spatulas, a roller there, cookie cutters, and cookie cutters, the ever important cookie cutters. These are only a dollar each. Ooh, a kitty one. 
That's cute. Christmas shaped cutting boards too. A Christmas tree and a gingerbread man and uh, some more towels and a uh, dishcloth. That's a dishcloth apparently, huh? Bunch of different kinds of placemats over here too and some really adorable plates and cups. Christmas mugs over here as well. Very adorable. I have one Christmas mug. Just one? Just one. Oh, a lot of Halloween. And that, that is it, yeah. Many, many Halloween ones, but only one Christmas one. And I don't think that's gonna change unless it's a particularly amazing Christmas mug. Like this one's pretty good, is not gonna lie. Is that particularly amazing? I think I'm gonna pass for okay. now, but it is pretty, it's pretty good. That's a, that's a good contender. Okay, I think we have basically seen at least most of the Christmas stuff, if not all of it. Phewee, that was a big chore, but we're gonna head out now, purchase our items that we picked up and go get some food. But hey, look at that. They do have some Thanksgiving things here. Hooray. I see some turkeys down there. Yeah, yeah some cute there. little turkeys. There's some paper plates, paper napkins. So I got some tree. stuff for Thanksgiving. Turkey activity kit. Yeah. Little banner. banner. Okay. Well, it's better than nothing. Tell them what happened. <laughs> so as you can see, we are back home. Um got some food, had a really nice night, and um, I pulled out, yeah, it's so good, and um, pulled out all of the things that we bought, I'm gonna do a little haul video here at the end, and something fell. The terracotta pots. Terracotta pieces, more like it. Yeah. It's broken. It is very, very broken. It's all right, yeah. I told her I'd get her another one. Whoops. Oh yeah, I got the tree. Yeah, got the tree. There you go, I got my Charlie Brown tree for my desk that I'm not putting on the desk until the day after Thanksgiving. After or Thanksgiving. Also got this hand towel here with the, the ski print on there that I was fawning over. I, I just really like the print of it all. Yeah. And um, not so much Christmas, just winter. Yeah, it's it's a winter theme as opposed to yeah. overtly Christmas. I got this really pretty little moth, little oh, moth yeah. man. It's a moth guy. Yeah, it's got it's like bejeweled out a little bit, and it's kind of All fuzzy. Right, that's, that's and cool Christmas decoration. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I I like it. Got the little sailor sailor seagull under siege. He's so cute! Steven Seagal. <laughs> this uh, little seagull reminds me of all of the really spooky, uh, nautical themed haunts that we did all this year fishies. that scared the bejeebers <laughs> out of me. And then finally, we got the advent calendar. There you go. So there you go. I just really liked it. It felt very nostalgic for me. And um, it was $20. I didn't think that was too bad. This is a really nice quality advent calendar. I did not honestly think that we would be doing this Christmas video and buying stuff at the end of it and doing a haul video, but here we, here we are. I can't help it. We saw right. some really cute stuff. That's what happens when you go into Target. It sure is. Right? Yep, it sure is. <laughs> so See? thank you all very right. much for watching. Um, very first spooky shopping channel goes Christmas video. This and was vacation. I'm thinking about calling it spooky <laughs> shopping channel Christmas vacation because it's like a vacation from the spooky stuff to do Christmas. So it's my favorite Christmas movie. Christmas by the vacation. Way. So I thought it fit. So that's what this is gonna be. Um, we're gonna do a lot more shop, a lot more shopping videos. Going to a bunch more stores. It's not gonna be as crazy as the spooky shopping, but we will do Christmas shopping. We'll so come in doses. I'm excited about it. We both said at the end of uh, us coming out of Target that you know what we both feel a little bit more in the in the holiday spirit. A little bit. There's gonna Just be a tiny bit. Yeah. We might even do Christmas events. We we may even do so. Yeah. I always Who knows? do. Yeah. I know we no, will. We will. We always Watch do. Well, thank you all for watching again. Chris we'll have plenty Moss. more videos coming up here. And yeah. 
Make sure you check out Tampa J's channel. Almost said video again, but he did not have Thank a camera you. here. No, I don't think I filmed anything. But he does have a channel. Just so take make a sure pictures. you check out it. Thanks, babe. Check out his channel too. So, okay. Bye bye, everybody. Thanks bye -bye. for watching. We appreciate it. Merry Christmas, everybody. Just Happy kidding. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy day after Halloween. Don't put your pumpkins away yet. 364 more days so left until Halloween. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Bye-bye. Mr. Skelly is like, come on, Christmas already? I know, I know, Mr. Skelly, but I have no choice. I'm telling you, I got no choice. I either do it now or it doesn't get done as far as the Christmas holiday shopping goes. I got no choice, Mr. Skelly. It'll be all right, Mr. Skelly. Don't you worry. We won't put the Santa hat on you too soon. We'll wait. Day after Thanksgiving. You're getting the you're, you're getting the whole holly jolly up in here. That's, I'm a holly jolly. that's for darn tootin'. All of you, all three of you. Holly. All three of you.